Black Diamond does a good job machining this precision so that it fits in just so and seals tight. And tight seal is important. Makes it kind of a bastard to get off of here. Um, I want to be careful. I'm kind of scratching the face of it up with the pliers, which isn't ideal. But I want to be careful. I don't want to pry on it too hard because I don't want to mar up the machine surfaces on the case either. That puppy is in there tight. I feel like it probably shouldn't be that tight. Well, I hope there's no damage or issues making this come out so hard. There. Well, I did booger up the ends of it a little bit. It was in there pretty good. Oil impregnated brass bushing in there. Um, that's what the oil pump water pump shaft rides on with this kit and keeps that lubricated so that that doesn't seize up. If you, if you just make a cover and slap a cover over top of that and that oil pump shaft sits in there loose, that'll actually seize up. Um, there's brass splines on the water pump shaft and there are brass splines in the center of the case between the two cylinders or between the two counterbalances um, that spin the oil pump water pump shaft now if that shaft seizes you don't have a water pump you're not circulating any more coolant obviously pretty big issue i don't got to get into that but there that's the uh what the bdx kit looks like i'm a little bummed i marred the ends of it up but it was in there pretty tight i wasn't uh getting it to just pull right out for me which which is okay i guess a good seal is better than no seal This is the factory fitting that goes in there. Um, as you can see, there's holes in the top and bottom side for oil in that shaft. This will slide, excuse me, upside down. This will slide in just like that BDX kit was in. Um, and then the oil pump itself will actually mount right to that. O-ring there. Um, then there's two screws that will hold that to the case. First things first, we gotta get that that plug bolt out so we can replace the banjo bolt um, so that we're getting oil to the center cylinder or between the cylinders. How's my hair today? Look good?
So the banjo bolts. Hollow down the center, and then it's got a through hole on it. Um, the whole point in that is the oil pump will push oil into the banjo fitting. When that's in there like so, sealed up tight to the block, it'll actually push oil up onto the shaft. So keeps everything lubricated as far as the water pump shaft is concerned. Um, it probably, I, I, I don't know, because I wasn't the engineer at CAT that designed it, or Suzuki, I guess. 90% of the time I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. But I believe that the oil is also used to lubricate the crank bearings, but I could be wrong. Maybe there's enough enough oil in the the from the case coming in through you know the, the gas oil mixture to lubricate the center crank bearings, but could be wrong. Take a look at the book a second before we go much further. Banjo bolt, crush washer on the bottom side, crush washer on the top side. I'm glad I double checked this because um, I only had the one that was on the banjo bolt itself on the bottom side. I didn't have the one between that goes between the case and the, <clears throat> the banjo fitting itself. I found one that'll work, um, so no problem there. Um, I also wanted to double check o-ring on the oil pump between the fitting and then oil on the fitting between the block. Um, the other thing we're looking at is five foot pounds is our, our torque spec on the two bolts that hold the oil injection pump to the case and then 242 I believe that's red Loctite so we'll apply red, red Loctite to hold that in. Let me verify that for you. Rewind, scratch that, try again. 242 blue Loctite. So blue Loctite, five foot pounds, is our torque spec um, for putting that onto the side of the case. Gonna start with the banjo bolt and slide that up under and get that started and tightened up first. Yes, the banjo bolt is not 10 millimeter. So don't try to turn it with a 10 millimeter like I was. It's an eight millimeter. And I gotta tighten it all the way up because first I wanna rotate the fitting by moving the pump over to the position I want it pointed in. so that there's no unnecessary kinks in the hose. And... All right, now it's time to go in with the, uh, the fitting. Fitting slides around the, um, the water pump and the oil pump shaft. And then, and then accepts the oil pump after that, my particular machine, and I can't find it on a schematic, but I had a washer on the end of it when I pulled it out. I put that washer on the BDX block off kit I had in there. So I'm going to put the washer back on now that I'm putting the oil pump back. Don't know what the purpose of it is. Like I said, I'm not seeing it on a schematic. All I'm seeing is O-rings on there. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in anyhow. Putting just a thin layer of oil on this to see if it helps it slide on a little better. It'll be good for the O-ring anyhow. 
Oh yeah. That was the trick. So there, you learned a trick on me. Put a little oil on that fitting before you push it in, whether it be the BDX kit or the factory kit. Helps it slide in. The screws that hold the oil pump to the case are Allen screws. It's five millimeter Allen socket. I got my inch pound torque wrench. Six, uh, excuse me, five foot pounds is what needs to be put on to, which if you do the math is 60 inch pounds. So I'll set my wrench to that. Lock that into place. Now this next step, you have to make sure that the oil pump and the shaft are lined up. I got another oil pump here I can show you. Since the rotation of the shaft, the end of the shaft has a, has a flat that fits inside of here. So you have to get those lined up before you bolt the, the uh, water pump to the case, otherwise well, it won't work first of all and then you know you have you have plenty of issues so just make sure those are lined up double check make sure your o-rings on the on the oil pump before you get everything lined up push it on there just to realize it's not don't forget your blue loctite on your screws or your bolts Blue Loctite. All right, got it in, got the hoses in place. Pretty well ready to go. 